Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We're back with another Horror Pack unboxing. Uh, in case you don't know, Horror Pack's a monthly subscription. You pay like 25, 30 bucks or whatever. You get four Blu-rays or four DVDs. I go with the Blu-rays because I like Blu-rays. Um, also, I pay for this out of my own pocket, so I will tell you good, bad, or indifferent how I actually feel about the things. Usually, though, um, usually they're, they're pretty good. And... Um, They've yet to really disappoint me. Each one also comes with a limited edition Blu-ray, and honestly, they usually pay for it alone. Even if you consider the other three movies just complete special features, you're usually set with uh, the limited edition. Uh, they also put uh, some clues up on Twitter and Instagram, so you can kind of guess what you're going to get. So I'll go through those right now and just see if we can figure anything out. First up, when she snaps... The killing begins in this 80s revenge nightmare. Okay, so 80s, and it's a revenge flick. And the... She, so it's obviously a woman, so I'm guessing maybe... I spit on your grave, or something like that? Could be cool. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what that is. Next up, there there's a lot of teeth in these two big bites of terror. So... A lot of teeth and two big bites of terror obviously sounds like a double feature. Maybe some killer shark action um i'm a fan of killer shark stuff um actually you know uh we've just done a podcast episode of uh jaws ripoff movies so i'll leave a link below if you want to check that out uh next up criminals become victims in this indie invasion thriller now that's interesting because I always like the idea of evil versus evil in a movie. So I like the idea of someone coming in thinking they're all badass and just really not know who they're dealing with. So that could be interesting. I don't know what it could be though. Last up, nothing like a murderous extraterrestrial to screw up all the scientific space research. Okay, so that sounds like something like species or well, any you know a evil alien movie. So let's get into it. Already got this open. Save a bit of time. Let's see. First up, we have... Oh, yes. Nice. Life. Life is an intense sci-fi thriller about a team of scientists aboard the International Space Station whose mission of discovery turns into one of primal fear when they find a rapidly evolving life form that caused extinction on Mars and now threatens the crew and the life and all life on Earth. It includes deleted scenes, claustrophobic terror creating a thriller in space, life in zero G, uh, the art of reality, the art and reality of Calvin, and astronaut diaries. Damn good movie. Um, there was talk at one point that it was going to be like the prequel to Venom. I know it never happened. I know it was just a rumor, but I, it, it could have worked. It really could. Good stuff. Next, we have... <laughs> I called it... Two-Headed Shark Attack and Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. <laughs> I, lo I love these things. I really do. They're both Asylum Flex. So let's see. Two-Headed Shark Attack. When a semester at sea... When a semester at sea ship is sunk by a mutated two-headed shark, the survivors escape to a dreaded atoll. But when it starts flooding, the co-eds are no longer safe from the double jaws of the monster. That's awesome. And Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. The massive prehistoric shark has survived the last battle, and the world is again threatened when a, when a new, more dangerous foe is discovered in the jungles of Africa. <laughs> You, you gotta love it. You really do. I mean, it's complete trash, but damn it, that's kind of fun nonetheless. Next, we have... Okay, this is the Horror Pack uh, Limited Edition. This looks kind of cool, actually. And this is called um, Nefarious. Darren, Lou, Joe, and Maz live a meager existence on the fringes of poverty. Indebted to the criminal kingpin of their social housing development, they routinely fear for their lives. On the other side of town, the already wealthy Marcus and his disabled brother Clive receive a windfall in the form of winning a winning lottery ticket. When their worlds collide following a botched robbery, the would-be criminals get more than they bargained for and will be tested to the limits 
in a desperate attempt to survive a predator of monstrous proportions. That sounds damn cool. I love these limited editions. And last up we have... Oh, nice! Demented. After surviving a brutal and devastating assault, L Linda Rogers is institutionalized in order to deal with her intense trauma. By the time she's finally released, her attackers have been brought to justice and imprisoned, but the psychological scars remain. Tormented by visions of her attackers and mistreated by her philandering husband, Linda is pushed over the edge when she encounters four young men whom she, conf whom she confuses with the men who assaulted her. Consumed by madness, Linda attempts to enact a bloody retribution for the disgusting crimes committed upon her, and no one is safe in this shocking 1980 exploitation film in the tradition of I Spit on Your Grave. That's actually a Scream Factor release as well, so we got Demented, Nefarious, Two-Headed Shark Attack, and Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus, and Life. So again, this has been a damn good month. Um, I'll leave a link below if you want to get your own, uh, horror pack. They're definitely worth picking up, especially if you've got a little bit, like, extra to spare, a little bit of money to spare. You know, you, you get, it is what it is. You get what you, you get some random movies. It's fun. It's awesome. Good stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's it for now. See you next time.